Hi guys, today we're gonna do a Hello World tutorial in Swift on Xcode um, version 6 beta 3. So this is not the the official Xcode um, the new release, but it's the it's in beta right now. So we're gonna open up the Xcode version 6 beta 3, create a new Xcode project. And there's um five templates in the iOS applications that it comes with. At the master detail application, which is like um, table views or split views, they have page based applications where you can like um, scroll horizontally through pages if you're writing a book or something. They have a tab application, which is like with tab bars on the bottom and then with navigation controllers where you can like scroll through different pages or like where you can go through different tabs and use navigation controllers to go through different tabs. There's also games which um, we're not going to be creating today. So we're going to use a single view application. And yeah, so I haven't been creating uh, tutorials for a while. I've been just um, busy working on my game, but now that it's done, I have a little bit more time. So I was thinking what should my first tutorial back be, and I was like, okay, let's go with something simple, Hello World, because I'm still learning Swift myself too, so should be fun product name I'm just gonna call it hello world Swift organization name if the perfect organization identify com dot if the perfect but these can be anything you want to change it to so in language um, we have two options I'm just gonna choose Swift in devices just an iPhone and we're not gonna be using core data for this tutorial so just click next and um, we're not gonna create a git repository so just uncheck it if it's checked and then just create anywhere. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And then um, here's the template, the single, the single view application template. It comes with um, three files, which is the app delegate.swift, the view controller, and the main storyboard. So in the app delegate.swift, um, Instead of it having the app delegate .h and .m in the previous Xcode version, instead of having the header and the implementation files, they, we just have an app, app delegate .swift files now. But all the functionalities are still there. The app delegate um, is a subclass of UI responder still, and then still conforms to the UI application delegate um, protocol. You still have your window variable. You still have all that did finish launching with options function, will resign active, did enter background, all these functions. And um, in the view controller, we have the view did load and the did receive memory warning that comes with the template. And in our main storyboard, this is what it looks like right now. Um, the size right now is 480 by 480. I'm not sure why, but. We, we don't really want 480 by 480, so we just go to the um, file inspector. We just unclick the use auto layout, and from there, we're just gonna keep size class data for iPhone, and then click disable size classes. Then it changes it to the iPhone 5 size, which is like 320 by 568, okay? So just go here, view controller, you can look at freeform, there's 320 by 568. All right. So in our in our view controller, we're gonna have I'm just gonna have four elements on there. I'm gonna have two text fields. So go to your object library, which is the third guy from the left. Find your text field and click and drag it onto your um, view controller. Do that one more time for a second text field and drag find a button and drag it on there also and find the label and drag it on here okay so what I want this hello world application to do is whatever you type in the first text field let me let me name it something so it's a little more so it's a little more clear so for this one just click on your first text field that you dragged in and in the placeholder just type in greetings so the top we're gonna type the greetings and the bottom we're gonna type the name so just click on the second text field in the placeholder we're just gonna say name 
And we can also change the background of, of the view controller. Let's say we want to make it like green and just do that. So there, the first one we just in the placeholder is greetings, the second one is name, so we know what we're typing in. So from there we're gonna open up our assistant editor by clicking this guy with the suit and tie. And then um, for the text field, we're gonna go over to our first text field, hold control, click and drag it over. And then we're gonna have an option of making it an outlet action or outlet collection for the two text field and the label is gonna be outlets. So for name, I'm gonna call it greetings label. Type will be UI text field, storage will be weak. All right, and in Swift, um, we don't have to put the semicolon anymore. So I'll try not to do that too, but um, in all the previous programming languages, I've been putting semicolon, so that might be a tough habit to break, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> so for the second one, I do the same control click and here. Control click and drag it onto here, and I'm just gonna call this one name text field. Connection outlet type is UI text field, storage is weak. And for the button, again we do the same thing, control click and drag. But instead of dragging on the top, I like to put my um, actions on the bottom, just for personal preference. So I change it instead of an outlet, it's an action. So name, I'm just going to call it button press. So type is any object. In Objective-C, it was called ID, but in Swift, it's any object. Event is touch up inside, argument is sender. There's a lot of different events here. There's a touch down, touch drag, touch up outside. But we're only concerned about touch up inside. Touch up inside is when you touch the button and and like you can even move your finger around, but like you release it inside of the vicinity of the button. Then that's touch up inside. But if you touch the button and then like let's say you drag your finger out and you release it, and that's not touch up inside. But the event that we're concerned with is touch up inside. So that's the that's the um, the function that gets called when this button gets pressed, and we don't forget the label. So control click drag the label onto here. It's also going to be an outlet. I'm just going to call this one display label, and type is UI label storage is weak. All right, we are almost done. So since we're practicing Swift, we're going to create a variable. So we just say var, and then we we'll just say total string equals greetings greetings label dot text, which is a text grab from this text field right here, plus um, name text field dot text. All right, and we're gonna assign that variable. To label so we're just gonna say display label dot text equals total string no semicolon for good habits all right so that seems pretty simple I'm gonna do a few more things after this but I want to make sure that this works first so I choose a iPhone 5s simulator I run it and hopefully nothing breaks yet all right so there's our hello okay let me run it one more time there we, there we go so there's our hello world if we go to greetings we can say hello and name I'll just call it world so when we hit the button it's gonna be uh, these these text fields will get appended, and then the display label will be assigned a total string, which is this variable. So let's see. There, hello world. Okay, so I want a space here, so I'm just gonna add like a little space right here too. All right. Actually, I think we can do this as a let because I don't think we ever change total string. Because let is um is a constant, let 
if you say let, total string would be a constant. You can't modify total string anymore. But if we need to modify total string, we're going to need to call this var like we did before. So I think that's kind of nice. Um, after I get used to it, it will probably be really useful. So hello world click the button there's that space all right but now you notice that the keyboard's not being dismissed so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna right click we're gonna go to our storyboard right click on this thing on the greetings text field and then go to the outlet there's a delegate option because a text field has a has delegate just click on it and drag it to the view con where it says view controller right here in your storyboard. And now um, the greetings, the the view controller will implement the the text field text field the greetings text field delegate. So now if you click on the name, you do the same thing. Right click here. There's the delegate because it has a delegate. Just um, click on there and drag it to the view controller. Let's see. See so if you click on the label, the label doesn't um, doesn't have a delegate, so it doesn't have that option. Because what we want to do is we want to implement those things. Because what I want to do is when you press return, I want to dismiss the keyboard. Because right now, like there's no way of um, getting rid of that keyboard after after um, you're done typing. So now what we want to do is at least when you hit the return, just get the keyboard out of the way. So we already specify that the view controller will be the delegate. So we'll implement the UI text field delegate. So we're going to implement some functions. So if we hold, let me get rid of the right side first so we have a little bit more room. So if we hold control, not control, sorry, command and click on the UI text field delegate, you see the functions. If it's required, it will be on the top, but all these are optional functions. So the main functions that I'm gonna be looking at is text field should return. This text field should return is called when the return key is pressed, which is this key right here. So when this key is pressed, this method will be called and then we can do something like that, which is to dismiss the keyboard. And also we're probably gonna be using this one, the end editing, which is used to make the view or any sub view that is the first responder resign. So we'll be using that also in a little bit. But for now, we'll just go back to our view controller dot swift file. So don't forget to just type comma UI text view delegate there, because otherwise the function is not going to come up. So just just start typing. Text and all these functions should come up. So then just choose your text field should return function. And then from there, we'll just say um, text field dot resign first responder. Oh, no semicolon. And oh, it returns a Boolean. This function returns a Boolean. So we're just going to return yes. I mean, true. Yes was the objective C way. True is the swift way. All right, return true. Um, that should be good enough to at least when we press the return to dismiss the keyboard. Again, run our application. Here's our Swift. Um, greetings, hello, name world. Uh, let's say return. There, the button went away. Even on hello, the button went away. Because both are, um, we've already specified that the delegate will be implemented in the view controller right here. All right, so we can do a couple more things. When the button is pressed, let's say if the button is, let's see, right now if the if the button is pressed, it doesn't dismiss the keyboard. Well, we kind of want to maybe dismiss the keyboard when the button is pressed too, so we can say. In the button press function, we can say self dot view dot end editing true. Or right now it 
it doesn't um, dismiss the keyboard when we touch somewhere either which is kind of a nice function so I'm also going to implement this this one just start typing touch and then all these touch um, function comes up we want the one where it says touches begin because this is um, what we what we do when uh, touch begins so we'll just say self dot view dot n editing true also so we, we added these we added this one whoops we added this self dot view dot editing in the button press function and we also added a touches began function and have a self dot view dot editing also so now we'll run it one more time and if it works, that should be the end of the tutorial. So greeting, I'm going to say hi. Hi world. And then click the button. There, hi world. And the keyboard is dismissed. So right now, the, the words are still there. Let's say we tap anywhere. And that is called by the touches began function. And this one is called by the button press. And these are called by the return. Alright, so there's your um, Swift Hello World tutorial, the first one. The next one, I'm probably going to work on um, like table views or maybe like a custom cell table view or something. And then um, maybe later on, eventually move into something more advanced. But I'm um, still trying to learn Swift too. So it should be fun and thank you for watching oh and don't forget to check out my new game i'm gonna put it in the link description thanks for watching again and i'll see you next time bye